I remember when we were strong. Back in the days before King Tenebrae and his royal guard, and the people of Amosran took up their own arms for fun and profit. Before all that, air was just us. The Viridian Outriders. We kept the roads and trails safe and secure, with homes and forts scattered about and locales civilized and not. Time passed, and we have been replaced. And yet, I hear the rumblings and murmurs of the roads being less safe than they had been. Monsters sniffing around in smaller towns and magic acting oddly. Who knows? Maybe we'll be needed again. Hello, and welcome back to Another Path. My name is Chase, and I remain your GM. Today, the Outriders investigate something they maybe shouldn't, make first contact with the Magicatronics, and try out another ride at Callaghan Cat's Corral. Thank you to our backers, Tyler, Kyle, and Jeremy for their support. If you like what you hear, consider donating at patreon.com slash ghostlightmedia, and maybe try checking out some of the other shows on the network. And with that, sit back, relax, and enjoy your trip down another path. The three of you plus Ignis leave the security office and immediately you hear the of a lock behind you. Good luck, Katie. You hear over the telepathic bond. Watchdog in position. Ready and waiting. Cut for that, watchdog. And you all move back to the stairs. The boss's office is at your left and you turn and head down the staircase. We didn't go into the boss's office, did we? You didn't. Oh, I didn't realize there was another office. Hey, I'm absolutely going into the boss's office. (laughs) (laughs) Because the boo blasters first. Look, we could play some offices and bosses right now. (laughs) I want to get these spooky guns. Give me one second. Let me just see if there's anything important. Actually, I don't even know if I can open the door. I jiggle the handle. It is locked. You will need to pick it. I'm right here. All right. Uh. Hopper, give it one... Well, Hopper, can you see if um, we're going to set off any alarms? Sure. I can... I'll, I'll take a look around. Investigation check. Uh, natural 20. Hell yeah. Um, it does not appear to be alarmed or trapped or anything like that. The lock is of decent quality. Okay. Better than what you found in Ballo's uh, mm-hmm. caravan, but not bad. Um... What you can tell just by looking at the door is that this is pristine in every way. If you do not want to be caught having gone in here, you need to make sure you leave everything exactly as you found it, including locking the door behind you. Okay. Uh, uh, Screwdriver, I think maybe just one shot at it. And um, if it doesn't work immediately, we'll just come back to it. That uh, sounds like a good plan. Um, I will do my my darndest. Okay. Go ahead and roll. What is this? Plus four? Yeah. Thieves tools plus four. Natural one. I'm lucky. Yep. So I re-roll. Correct. <laughs> that was right. a journey. Bo- hey, boy, it's good to be a halfling. 21, baby. Hell yes. Pops. Ice cream dice, you're killing it. Pops open. <laughs> we push the door open and stay outside for a second. Okay. Just to see what we can see. The boss's office is very finely decorated in dark wood and purple. The nameplate on the door, Yakov A, is listed. Oh, that's the initials. Is it Yakov with a, with a, with a J? Yes. His last name's just A. A period. It, it, you know, there is a more of a name. But the door opens. You see off to one side, there is a, a very nice, heavy, sturdy desk with papers kind of strewn about. Off to the other side, there is some art and whatnot. But the biggest thing that's catching your eye on the other side of the room is a very small shrine to watch. 
Oh. oh. Looks like he's got one in there. Um, Matches the chapel we saw earlier. It does. And this one uh, very specifically, like, I mean, you didn't really go, like, much into the chapel, uh, but you can see that sitting on the altar is the traditional pictographic depiction, the iconography of Watch, um, which looks like a ram's horn with a scroll wrapped around it. Ooh. It's interesting. I suppose if you're the boss, you can do that if you'd like. Does it look like, I assume Cecil knows how you would use the shrine and what rituals you would use. So does it look like it's been used today? Like if there's candles or there ashes um, or things where they're supposed to be? Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can tell that it has been used pretty recently. Um, most interestingly, though, there are two letters like placed on the altar, and it looks like they are meant to be offerings for tomorrow. Cecil has knowledge of this. Ryan does not. Is yes. letters an offering to watch? Like you write letters to watch? Not typically. Like you, I mean, it's not uncommon for those who are practitioners of the virtues to write their prayers out and burn them. Sure. Would that be like would that be like the more devout or a sect or It might be a different sect. It's not something you are specifically familiar with, but uh it certainly seems as reasonable as anything to do. Okay. But it stands out. It does. It's abnormal behavior. Correct. Well, this is strange. Um Let's you wanna not take a look just, around or Yeah, let's look. Let's try our hardest not to disturb anything because, you know. Yeah, look, do not touch. This place is like pristine. Okay. Everybody give me an investigation check. Ice cream dice, we're killing it. That's an eighteen. Eighteen, you said? Eighteen. Okay. Uh fourteen. Fourteen? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Right. Harper. With an 18, what you find is those letters. You kind of walk over to the altar and you see these two letters. And it looks kind of weird. You can tell just by looking at the envelopes that are around the letters themselves. They are not written in common. They are written in another language. Um, I will let you make a sh history check to be able to determine the language. Dirty 20. Faye. Fucking killing it. Faye. Like, like Sylvan? Yeah. Oh. It's one of those things where it's like, I, Griffin, can't, like, read Japanese, but I know kanji when I see it. Like, Exactly. Cool. Well, that kind of tracks what with the ceremonial tree and all that. With a 17, Arabin. Uh, you find, uh, you walk over to the desk on the other side of the room, and uh, you see a stack of papers. And taking a quick look at them, you realize these are a bunch of blank NDEs. It looks like they <laughs> are gearing up to start hiring a whole bunch of people. They are ready to staff this park as soon as this whole mess gets sorted out. Cecil. No. Yes. Okay. I'm so mad about this because you called my shot last game and now I have to cop to it. <laughs> because of your notary background. Perfect. You know, like, to look for different things and what is official documentation and what is, like, memorandum notes kind of stuff. Sure. You move some of the official documentation, not a lot, just enough for you to see what's under, and you find tucked underneath several things a memo written to somebody clearly still needs to be sent out. Due to the disappearance of Mr. Ballo Lin, we need to find a new carrier for our supplier. Miss Lewis swears by the mother that she sent him and has provided proof to that reality. I fucking called it! <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where he is. He in the basement. <laughs> not anymore. No, he, he's not he, in the basement anymore. He's in some tea. I'm you you in fact pissed him out on the way here. He's in some me. Do I know who Miss Lewis is? No. Okay. Well, uh, you 
Remember our old friend Balo? Basement guy? The tea guy? Yes, we took him to the basement. Well, y'all did. What about him? It's all connected, apparently. I don't know. Um, what do you mean? Maybe it looks like st- uh, ending Balo's trade route may have also done something here. I don't know how much it threw things off, but... Do you work paperwork. here? He was a supplier, it says, uh, and a Miss Lewis uh, is involved, apparently. I don't know who that is. We should talk to Harkia about this after all this. Just like... Yeah, I don't think Balo's gonna be distributing anything for a while. Nah, just tea. Well, he will be distributed. He has been. Yeah. Yes. Damn. Huh. Anything else we find? Stuff just kind of reaffirming the connection to the Feywild that this place has. I mean, like, we saw that big tree. There's an entire section called Feywild's Frolic. There's a goddamn missive on the sign for uh, blending a Mosrin and Feywild food and whatnot. Right. Um, these letters to the on the shrine are written in like a like a like a Fey text, I think. Oh, I can't make sense. I can't read them, but I recognize the script. Sure, yes, yes. There's a lot of NDEs over here. Oh, like the things that those watchmen watch folk? Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready for more staff. Huh. So they're not backing down. No. Um, <sighs> Harper? Yeah. Chase, when we signed up for this, have we signed NDEs? You have not. Okay. Interesting. So we haven't seen these yet. No. Okay. Harper. Yeah. Can you see if these NDEs have anything baked into them beyond the standard, you know, legalese and binding contract? You mean like literally or magically? Magically. Can you give me 10 minutes? Yes. Um, I will take out my my tools mm-hmm. um, and cast identify on okay. one of the NDEs. You're taking because 10 minutes to do that? I'll, I'm going to do it ritually, yeah. We know all of the security guards that have left or uh, said the strange thing happened or whatever, mm-hmm. and they can't remember, we know they all signed these. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, um, before I start doing that, I just go, yes. uh, uh, screwdriver to watchdog. Watchdog reporting in. Hey, so we took an immediate detour. So, like, we're not going to be going out yet. So, like, you can sit. I was actually starting to wonder because I was watching the the jitter stage for y'all and I didn't. Yeah, no, we're like down the hall, immediate detour. So, like, we'll let you know. Okay. Yeah, we'll let you know when we're headed out, but it's going to be another like 10 minutes. So, like, you can, like, pop a, you know, like, you know, crack into a water skin or something like that. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, But yeah, I will take 10 minutes to ritually cast identify. Um, Okay. Um, you take that time, uh, you cast identify, uh, what you find is kind of what it says on the, uh, on the tin, a non-disclosure enchantment when it is signed both by the employee, as well as the employer, the contract goes into effect and anything that individual learns, but does not themselves create if they are ever fired will be wiped from their memory. Interesting. Uh, Cecil absolutely pockets one of those for okay. some contracts that they may or may not have to write in the future. Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, big money. No whammy sleight of hand. Straight on the die. That's a 15. Okay. Not bad. And uh, yeah, you pocket an NDE. I'm starting to get kind of a bad. I mean, not like just a. I've gotten a bad feeling from this the minute we went to night mode. But like, I'm starting to think that. The people who I think are responsible for paying us might be kind of rotten. Yeah, I've been thinking that for a while. There's something up here, and I'm I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I'm also getting more and more anxious. I feel like the longer we wait, the more danger we're in. Hey guys, uh, Watchdog, Watchdog reporting in. Yeah, go ahead, Watchdog. Hey, uh, um, I've got eyes on Felicia. Oh, uh, looks like she has joined Calligan. Uh, up near the front of the park. I uh, can't guarantee that's going to stay that way, but if you want to move, now's your time. Yeah, let's... All right, copy that, Watchdog. We're going to get moving. Any right. any any activity on the stage? Uh, Nope, nothing. You're clear. Go, go, go. All right, we're going to out. Watchdog out. Copy out. All right, uh, I say we... This is all very good. We can discuss it even telepathically as we move, but I, th- I say we start going to get some boo blasters. Okay. I close the door... 
Mm-hmm. I re-engage the lock. Great. And the uh, three of you and Ignis take your leave. You head down the stairs, out the door, and into the park itself. I turn off Ignis's headlights. If I'm remembering correctly, uh, Ryan, you said you were going to essentially cut around the barn into the Fey Wild Frolic. Yes, that's the plan. Hopefully okay. we, there's less visibility on us. Sure. Um, go ahead and give me some stealth checks. I point out the way. Okay. The and let's see what happens. Mm. It's going to be a 12 over here. Okay. I got a 16. 15 for Harper, 4 for Ignis. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and roll a perception check. It is at disadvantage because it is a good way away. I have averaged your scores together. Okay. So 11.75. Well, I'll round up to 12 and be generous. Oof. The Iggy brought us down. <laughs> hey, he's doing... Just ka-chunk, ka-chunk he's, he's away. He's doing him doing him best. Him doing him best. I have rolled a 19 and a 15. Oh, oh no. Well, howdy. Are there guests in here? Oh, I having guest pass closing. Oh, shit. You haven't been made, but you have been heard. Fuck, do we dead sprint? Do we go for it? How far away are we from the house? You the are at the crossroads. You're right next to the booter scooter. Oh, uh, no, no. Does it sound like it's just her? There's only one? Um, That's the only one you have heard. Fair. But you know Calligan was nearby. If we stay still, she's going to come investigate. We have to move somewhere. Uh, Let's go to... Let's just go to the tower as quickly as possible. Dead sprint? Dead sprint. Okay. All right, uh, let's go. Ignis, kick it. <laughs> make those uh, checks again at disadvantage because you are running. Okay. Harper, just the normal disadvantage for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, double 17s for a total of 17. At disadvantage, I got a 14. Uh, okay. Y'all are doing great. Okay. Um, Harper? Harper's gonna be a 7. Okay. Ignis rolled a natural 20 and a 5. Oof. So a 6 for Ignis. Oh. So it's a six and a seven for the Artificer crew. Okay. We leave them behind. <laughs> no, you need me, damn it. Weirdly, still an 11. Okay. That seems right. Yeah, actually. Because she did hear you. She rolled a 14. <sighs> but I am going to roll to see if she can catch up to you. Because you know where you're going and she doesn't know where you're going. Okay. So I'm going to roll. So that first roll was to kind of continue to meet your pace. This roll is going to be if she can catch up to you. If anybody has some bullshit they want to try and pull, this is your chance. No, I think it would just alert more of them to our presence, and that's not what we want right now. Sure. Let's let's see this roll. Okay. You are standing directly in front of the townhouse. You're trying to get the door opened. It is locked. It's going to take a second to open it up. Okay. It's not a, you, Harper, you can tell it's not a hard lock. Okay. But as you do that, you pull out your tools ready to get to work, and then you hear from the forest behind you, as this giant beige cat on all fours <laughs> comes barreling out of the trees. It is uncomfortably large. Oh. It's bigger than what you saw on the screen. Oh. It looks like she's about oh. like eight feet, nine feet tall when standing on two feet, which she does as soon as she very clearly has you in her sights. She pulls herself up to her full height. Well, howdy, par 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 partners. Y'all sh- sh- shouldn't be here. I should probably help you get to get in. I try to do an animatronic. I got them all clear here. You are in the form of Caligan. It's yeah. not a good form now that you see in person. Uh, she's pretty tall. I'm going to have you roll, though. Give me a deception. Holy shit, Justin. I, I don't want this to work. I want to be clear. 
I don't want this to work. I do. <laughs> that is a 19. <gasps> Imagine the precedent that we are setting in this moment. Okay. Oh, no. He's rolling. I'm going to roll. Roll with the with all of the roll with all of the insight of Felicia Feline. It's here's the thing. I'm going oh. to roll in front of you all. Chase is rolling in front of the board. He has moved the camera. I have moved the camera. <gasps> that is a natural one. That it's is a, a natural, natural one that I have one. rolled in front of God and everybody. Oh my God, guys! What is this show? <laughs> didn't how did you beat me well i'll be good on you i will get 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 back to my patrol see y'all later she sinks back onto all fours and moves into <laughs> the woods oh my god get us inside harper okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm, but that was so scary. Holy shit. I'm so shit. mad that worked. Holy fuck, Arabin. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Watchdog coming in. Watchdog coming in. Yeah, are you no. all okay? Yeah, no. We're at Watchdog. We are actually f- fine dandy. I saw dandy. that thing. I saw you talking to that thing, and then the feed didn't do anything because that's what happens. We're fine and dandy like hot and candy. We're, we're, we're just fine. We're gonna get inside the townhouse, just, um... Yeah, do that, do that. I'm gonna see if I can, like, try and force a refresh or something. Yeah, keep a oh. fucking eye on Felicia. Holy shit. I'm go. I gotta, sorry, I got I got work to do. Hey, am, am I good to, like, try and mess around with this stuff? Like, I'm, I'm not magic dumb, but I'm not as good as you. I don't... God damn it, Watchdog, I don't know. Oh, all right, all right. Sorry, Screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, good luck. I'm a little terrified by the nine-foot cat that almost tried to eat our brains. Holy shit, nine feet? That's what I'm saying, Watchdog. Now, can I g- g- get off comms and open this fucking door? Yes, please. Uh, Watchdog, do what you think is right. Thank you, Eagle. I pick the door. Don't even worry about it. It is easy enough to pop open. <sighs> It is literally like skeleton key kind of lock. Like. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bump key that I just <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> bump and open the door, and the door swings open. Inside, 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 inside. You all get inside and shut the door. <laughs> there is a moment of quiet <laughs> before you realize that you did just lock yourself into the haunted house. Like you can get out, but you've gone to the haunted house. It is better inside here than it is outside there. Harper does not think this place is scary. Mm-hmm. I'll communicate like, okay, th- uh, there are, It's this I think is an okay place to be. There are Magicatronics in here, but they're not nearly as anywhere. Harper. They're not anywhere as near close to dangerous, to my understanding, as the ones out there, okay? Surprisingly, Arabin is terrified. Oh, yeah, this place is like... What if an, a spirit Halloween just exploded? <laughs> Ignis headlights. You are standing in the facsimile of a lovely foyer. It is pristine isn't the right word, but incredibly well manicured. Everything looks dusty and broken and old and unused, but in that way that very clearly somebody intended it to look like this. You see rolling at a constant rate at the back of uh, the foyer are uh, these little carts that do have the boo blasters two to a cart uh, installed on them, and they are just constantly moving. Not quickly, not quickly. Slow enough that you could potentially step on them. So do you think you can get a couple of these blasters detached and still working? I'm gonna I'm do my damnedest. Oh, God. Could we just put one on Ignis? Let me get one first, and then we'll talk about attachments, okay? All right, so we go over, we and we pull a cart off the path so that Papa can work on it. 
You can try that. You can tell that would be difficult. Um, Harper, your best bet would actually be to attempt to ride this and try and take it off at the same time. I hate that. Yep. I think we should all get in carts. Yeah. So, yeah. so as someone who doesn't know the real life reference, it's like, it's a small world style carts and there's like an arcade gun affixed Correct. to the front of it. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, I, I, I am in fact combining multiple rides that I've ridden over That's the years. That's fine. I just... As you are, so you get into uh, the cart and you can see like it is moving very, very slowly. Um, but you can see on the uh, boo blaster, there is a little, like, a score counter. <laughs> uh, it Sorry. looks like this is a competitive game as well, so you can go through and shoot the ghosts with your friends and see who's the better ghost shooter. Please, Ghostbuster. There it is. <laughs> boo Buster. Boo Buster. I would like to go back to the front door and cast alarm on the inside of the front door. Good call. Good call. Me and Ignis in one car, you two in another, and I do my best to rip these dang blasters out while keeping their function intact. Okay. And Pretty Arabin much. is just playing the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Um, You all load into the carts and uh, roll out of the foyer. And as you leave the foyer and head into the dining room, uh, you hear over the constantly looping audio track in here, the voice of Felicia, much less glitchy than coming out of the Magicatronic. Well, howdy, partners. Thank y'all for coming on down to my new townhouse. My uncle left it to me when he passed away, but unfortunately, he left it to me full of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping y'all might be able to help me clear this joint out. Make sure you got those boo blasters ready to go. And anytime you see a creepy ghost of your ghoulie, you give them a good old blast to make sure they're not going to be messing with my home anymore. I'll catch y'all at the end. Thanks a bunch. Goodbye. Get bent, Felicia. Unhinged. So anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> <laughs> got a blast? <sighs> well played. Arab and Cronin blasting off again. All right, uh, Harper. Yeah. Give me a Tinker Tool check. Okay. Unless you got something else. Um. Nah, I mean, that's basically it. Cool. I don't think I have the time. I, I want to save my spell slots because I have so few. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will. I've got Ignis's light to work by. Yeah, I think this will be just a straight up and down tinker tools to try to detach one of these. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going for one minimally, ideally two. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's another not one, but lucky. But lucky. So, whew. oh God, I just threw that into my cup. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done. You're supposed to be in your cups, not your dice. <laughs> the reversal, a natural 20. I swan to John. I, it was a 20 to a one and then a one to a 20 this time. There we go. Ice cream dice, you're crazy. You- Nat 20. Okay, with a nat 20, you get the boo blaster off right away. That one pops off super oh, easily. It's actually a really elegant mechanism. ka -chank, gang, gang. Go ahead. Um, as you are rolling through the hallway, you leave the hallway as soon as Felicia's voice cuts out, uh, you find yourself in the dining room. And there are like the cheesiest looking ghosts just kind of like floating around the room. <laughs> go ahead and uh, anybody who wants to give the Boo Blasters a try, go ahead and uh, give me a dex-based attack. I'm busy. Yeah, you're doing stuff. I do throw the one just in the, like, up in my seat on Ignis, mm -hmm. just so my hands are free. Sure. How big is this thing in comparison to me? Are we talking about an, are we talking about a needler or a heavy machine gun? Needler. 10 inches across, maybe seven or eight deep. It's big and bulky, um, but, you know, you don't have to mount it to Ignis. Two hands or one hand? One hand. One hand, but it's heavy. Um, 
you, weight was clearly not a concern for these things because they are bolted and mounted onto the front of these carts. Yeah. Oh, God. Mine's okay. broken. I can't... Uh, nothing works. The aim's off. I don't know. I rolled a three. I got a 24. I am blasting these bones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Arabin, this is like second nature to you. Um, <laughs> it feels a lot like an Eldritch Blast, what's coming out, although you God. can tell there is not like any actual like damage coming off of these things. It looks like there is like just some, some kind of like a, a bright pulse that is coming out and uh, is temporarily disabling the Magicatronics. Yeah, as I'm working and I'm seeing Arabin Blast, like what am I gathering that this would do to the the more sentient Magicatronics. Um, is it, it's, it's, it's not a damage dealing thing. It's like a disabling thing. It seems to be, uh, go ahead and give me inch check at advantage. Just straight intelligence? Straight intelligence. You've never encountered like uh, something like this in the past. 22. 22. I'm rolling uh, hot you tonight, can, gang. You know that the Magicatronics in here are way more simple than the ones out there. This will put these out of commission entirely. Out there, probably deal a little damage. All right, I'm going to take another. Okay. The uh, carts continue to rumble on through. You have left the dining room. You're now in the study. Uh, there are quills floating everywhere. Um, a oh, undulating ink splotch is just like floating around in the air. Uh, there are books flapping around the room. Every time Arabin fires the blaster, his eyes flash red. Good. Harper, give me give me that roll. 16. With the 16, um, it comes loose a little bit less elegantly than okay. the last one, but you do have it. Okay. I got two boo blasters. All right. All right. Gang, I got two of these. Do you want me to crawl up there and try to get those two ripped out of that dang cart? Uh, maybe wait to the end for mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll you shouldn't. I'll start shouldn't with grab Sessels. mine. Mine doesn't work. Are you sure? It does not work. It seems fine to me. It's not hitting Ces anything. Cecil's just bad at this game. It doesn't work. It's not hitting anything. I'm not bad at games. Uh, <laughs> I win chess constantly. Elijah's very upset. Cecil, I hate to break it to you. This is about the farthest thing from chess that I can think of. Well, that's checkers. Anyway, I'm going to crawl out of my cart and like try to okay. sprint up to the <laughs> your, to your timing is excellent on this. Oh no. Cuz as you so your your plan is to get out of the cart and then run up to theirs. Uh-huh. Okay. You hop out of the cart as you are entering into what appears to be just like a normal hallway. Cool. And you start running as you get a You know what? Give me an athletics check. Let's see how you do. And where's Ignis in all of this? Ignis is staying put. <laughs> he, he's staying in the cart? Okay. He's having a nice little ride. Okay. Did you put the blasters in him? Uh, Yeah, I, both of the blasters okay. I have are in the, the bag of hoarding. Cool. Is Ignis sitting? He's doing a loaf. Cool. <clears throat> like a vertical loaf, just kind of... <laughs> just yeah. wedged into the cart. <laughs> Again, upright. he's size medium. He can fit places. God yes, damn it. Yes, he can, but he is awkwardly shaped. Okay. <laughs> he's shaped like a friend. He is. <laughs> uh, a 12 athletics. Okay. Um, you get up and you like just barely get onto the cart when it seems like the hallway that you're in magically stretches and twists oh. a little bit. And just kind of like yawns out in front of you in a spiral. And you see the torches on the wall like jut out further with hands holding on to the torches. The paintings on the wall seem to menace and leer at you all as you move through the yawning hallway into a child's bedroom where toys and whatnot seem to be floating and you can hear spectral children laughing in the background. Oh. 
I'd like to work on this buoy laster to distract myself from that horror. You may. Go All ahead right. and give me that tinker tool check. All right, scoot, Cecil. Uh, that's fine. Just go ahead and take it. 17. I'm Done. a bit taken with the illusion magic in here. It's actually quite good. Right? If I'll I ever get to off. talk to this Mr. Gale. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Um, can you hold this while I work on Arabins? I sure. I'm honestly not sure if I can, uh, but I will try. Here you go. All right, Arabin, you got like two more minutes before I start working, okay? But I'm close to a high score. <laughs> All right, I can uh, look. Listen, hey, hey, final watchdog stretch. reporting in. Watchdog reporting in. I got a thing. I got a uh, thing. Go ahead, watchdog. I have lost Feywild visual. Oh. Okay, take the blaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll start working immediately. Okay. Uh, sorry. Come again. Um, you mean you don't see, you don't see the Feywild feline. You don't see Felicia roaming around, or you've lost a, a camera. I have lost a camera. Oh. I, do, I do not have visual on the Feywild Frolic. Oh. And as she says that, you all cross into the master bedroom. Um, I rolled a 14 on the last boo blaster. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. You are taken into the master bedroom, where honestly, this one kind of feels like a bit of a repeat. This one really kind of needs a little bit of workshopping before it goes like public, public. Uh, but it's like bed sheets floating around, and you look into the mirror, and you see like weird, warped, like funhouse mirror versions of yourselves looking back at you. Um, and you ascend into the attic through a trap door in the ceiling, and it is um, like towers of boxes precariously leaning over to kind of block you off and block off sight lines. You're really not sure what's going on. A 14 does not cut it. You are working, and it's All just right. it's just not coming loose. Go ahead and give me that roll again. 15. That does it. You pop it off. Finally. And in that moment, all three of you see that this thing, that the Boo Blaster has come loose when the world drops out beneath you. Oh. And the cart plunges down, down, down into the basement. <gasps> no! <laughs> We've been they taken took us to the basement. To the basement. <laughs> Guys, Chase, the basement. Took, Chase took us to the basement. You're in the basement. And at the end of it, you see the Biggest Magicatronic you have seen thus far. No! Big Spookums! <laughs> I, Harper is is standing in front of Arabin, holding it above her head while he still has the handles and is still <laughs> shooting. <laughs> Big Spookums looks like a cross between like a giant lich and also a sheet ghost. Oh my god, Chase... Arabin, give me, give me, uh, give me another one last attack. Give me one last attack. <laughs> That's a net twenty. <laughs> yeah. As the cart is pushing out, you hear from behind you. No, my townhouse. No. <laughs> High score. Oh. I think I won. Woo. That's great. Do you get a prize? Oh, I thought that was it, gang. Well, how do you do? Thank you so much for clearing out my townhouse. Y'all want to disembark the carts? Right here, you'll be able to go ahead and exit through the gift shop. God damn it, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our blasters and go. All right, I have Aaron, a this one's yours. bone to pick with Felicia. We're going to murder that one just out of pure spite and principle. All right. Um, Cecil I'm... very quickly makes their way off of the cart, mm -hmm. dusts off their coat, and strides into the gift shop. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave one blaster in the the gunner seat of mm -hmm. Ignis, and uh, unless anyone wants to carry theirs, I'm going to put the rest in the 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 shell in the, the hatchback. Oh, I'm absolutely... Cecil is carrying the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cecil has a boo blaster. Absolutely. For, sh for show. So I got one in the gunner. Cecil has one. Uh, Arabin, what do you want to do with yours? Uh, I want that. Okay. So I'll throw Harper's, essentially, in the shell, and I'll leave one in the gunner. Okay. I was real I, I was real afraid of big spookums, guys. 
<laughs> I thought that was going to be the end. <laughs> it was a quite convincing piece of illusion magic. Whoo! Combine it with some of these, uh, as you've called them, magic electronics. It's I quite think, scary. I think I'm afraid of ghosts. I think I'm learning that about myself. <laughs> I was well, about to blast it for real, and then I would have just broken the ride. Yeah. It got me. Dang it all, it got me. I think that means it's working. Yeah. Damnedest thing. Whew. Okay. You... Chase? Yes. I would like to go find the t-shirt that says, I went to Felicia's Terror Townhouse and all I got was this lassie t-shirt. Oh, it's right there. It's it's the first one. You walk in and you see it is a half filled gift shop still getting stuff ready to go. You see some uh, plush versions of Felicia Callaghan and the rest of the crew uh, sitting on a shelf. You see that T-shirt uh, like staring right there at you. Uh, you see some fake versions of the Boo Blasters um, sitting up on a, a display counter. Um, above the where the cashier will eventually be, there are panels kind of like the ones that you saw in uh, the security office. And most of them just have pictures of empty carts, but one of them uh, does have an image of the uh, three of you and Ignis uh, as the uh, <laughs> you all started falling into uh, the basement. Oh, we as must have falling one. into the basement. We must have one. <laughs> yeah, we're taking that picture. Okay. I'm also um, going to find a Boo Blaster champion keychain and take that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. You have to dig through all the keychains to find your name. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not spelled right. right. All I find is one that says Aaron, and I decide it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I go find Katie's. Oh, real good. <laughs> and I pocket Katie's uh, a top so tier she has bit gang a pen with her name on it. Um, uh, the talk to me about these fake boo blasters. Are we talking like uh, little <sighs> stuffed things? Or are we talking Nerf? Um, uh, th- more on the is nerf it a disc side. shooter? Yes, one hundred percent. It's a practice. Right. We take Z- Zach Rob eat your heart out. <laughs> we take several boo blaster dick shooters. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to take that again. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I spaced out for a sec. Huh? He said dick shooter. Okay. <laughs> we take several of the Boo Blaster disc shooters. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. Chase, you can pick. <laughs> for fucking four years in BG Undead, Zach Robb rocked nothing but one of the shitty nerf disc shooters, and he swore by it to this day. That- Ugh, the worst. Yeah. It tracks. Yeah. Sounds right. All right, is there anything else you want to do here before we move on? Nah, fuck this place. Fair. (laughs) Did that alarm ever trip? Yeah, I was going to say, I assume my alarm never went off. Nope. Sweet. Um, So we can make our way back around to the front door? Uh, There is actually an exit from the gift shop, it looks like. That makes sense. Got it. Yeah. Um, You open the door... uh, Cecil, are you kind of leading the charge at this point? Uh, yeah. Is there a window I can look out of before we go? Since we have yeah, this give me um, just, yeah perception two nice. two yeah looks good great uh, let's go um, so now that we have these things are we do you all want to try to take down Felicia quickly? yeah give me can you give me like a minute um. I wanna. Can I? Can I do some some quick tinkering to like properly affix this to the gunner seat on Ignis? E- like, I like it was affixed to the cart. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead. Just a tool check. Yep. Uh, eighteen. Yeah. Uh, done cool. in a minute. Cool. If recent history is any indicator, I'm pretty good at this. Uh, I open the door. Mm-hmm. You don't see anything. I hop in Ignis's gunner seat. You get in the gunner seat and you take off, or where are y'all are we going? Uh, uh, hang on, let's check in with Katie. Uh, hey, Watchdog, do you got visual on any of the other Magicatronics lying around? Uh, yeah, I've still got. Uh, Walter has kept to the the Wet and Wild world. Um, I finally got sights on Octavius, which, to be frank, I it 
surprised it took me so long. Guy's huge. Uh, but he is uh, so far stuck to um, his outer world fair. And he's, di he's dipped his head into the wet and wild world. Still no sight on Felicia. And I did... I did kind of lose Callaghan there. Not sure what happened. He was there, and then, like, the cameras refreshed, and he was gone. Okay, copy that, Watchdog. Uh, we'll keep an eye out. Alright, y'all stay safe. Yeah, you too. Um... I could probably do something stupid and get their attention. But that's the thing, is we don't want all of them coming. I know. Do, do I need to re-up my disguise since it's been a while? It has been a little bit. Um... That would probably make sense if you want to continue with that one. You do also now know, have a really good look at Felicia, if you Ooh. wanted to imitate her. I have an idea. Oh, uh, since Cecil has heard her voice. Wait, 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 wait! I got a great idea! Yes! Oh no. Oh no. Harper, is this one of those ideas that's actually going to work? And I'm I going think to so! Hate it, or am I just going to hate it? You can mimic Felicia's voice, can't you, Cecil? Absolutely, I can! Can I chase with magical tinkering where I can record a message into an object? Can can I have Cecil's voice record into the object? Yeah. If you say a thing into the thing, into this little, into, I don't know, a branch or something, it can be anything. Then we can set it and I can set it to like constantly repeat itself. And it would be a voice, just a, you know, a normal something voice. They'd come to investigate, maybe one of their own, and then we'd jump them. It's not a bad plan. As long as it's one of them showing up and not all of them. Right. In theory, Watchdog would be able to give us a heads up if Octavius or Walter move. Right, and I think if they're coming to and maybe investigate one of their own, then they'd be on like a lower alert status. You know what I'm saying? It's a good plan. Let's do it. All right. I would like to avoid Octavius since he's the biggest. Yeah, let's... You don't want to go after the biggest? I think we save that one for when we can... When we know we can get him alone. Um, and I will um, find something that's like a piece of the environment of the Feywild Frolic. Okay. Um, and use that as my object for magical tinkering. Okay. And I'll wake it up and uh, hold it up to Cecil to record the voice into. Howdy, friend. Outsiders found. Cool. And then I can... S oh, shit. It has to be tapped by a creature. Can we tap it and throw it? We can, but it won't repeat unless it's tapped. I can be disguised as Felicia and carry it. I like that, actually. That's actually... Yes, that makes sense. Check right. this out. <laughs> Disguised. And then, Cecil, you and I just post up nearby? Yes, we post up nearby with Ignis and then hope something comes and then we blast it. Yeah. Go from there. So you're Let's... heading over to the water park then? No, we're staying, oh, you're staying the... here. We're staying we're here. Okay. We're staying here. We're setting up a trap Okay. Uh, in front of the Feywild Frolic um, in the hopes that we can get Callaghan or Felicia. Mm -hmm. to come investigate this, and okay. we can take down one of them. Sure. Yeah, Chase, uh, could you tip me off to some of these, uh, maybe some weak these, some of these weaknesses you told me about? Uh, as they become as they become relevant, absolutely. Okay. I just didn't know if there's anything I, I would want to prepare in, part in particular for... Uh, you know, I will say this, you know that all of them are at least to some degree or another weak to lightning. Um, they are all immune to psychic and poison damage. Shit. Oh, God, that's like your whole bag, Cecil. Sure is. I mean, yeah, they're robots. Yeah. You, you, you can't mind sliver something without a mind. Yep. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, but is this all of them? They all do this? They all, they all don't? They're all like that. I mean, that's just kind of the nature of the, the construct, as it were. Harper. Yeah. Give me an Arcana check. 21. With a 21. You know that these things can be directly controlled. If your theory is correct that this is being done maliciously, there might be a controller behind them. 
a psychic attack might not hurt the Magicatronic, but there might be feedback into whoever's controlling it. Yo. Uh, Cecil, psychic might work in our favor a little bit. Um, uh, hey, Watchdog. Um, yeah. I got a theory cooking of maybe someone who's behind controlling these Magicatronics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're probably going to get into a scrape soon, and if Ces- if uh, <clears throat> oh gosh, if Mister T does what um uh does their magic, and um maybe it backfires onto whoever's controlling them, maybe sure. they're posted up in that building somewhere. So just keep an ear out, all right? Oh yeah, you bet. If you hear anything, just let us know, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Good talk. Uh, a uh, uh, copy over and out. Uh, watch back out. <laughs> um. Okay. And I tell Cecil. Cool. Yeah. Hey. At one point, I want to say, assuming direct control. Um, <laughs> assuming direct control. There it is. So you all post up. You have your trap ready to go. Arabin, you are standing in the middle of the road, in the middle of the Feywild Frolic, waiting for something to arrive. Yeah, every so often I just give it a squeeze. I am going to roll. I'm going to roll a d4 to see who shows up. Oh boy. I have rolled a four. Coming down the road. Security mark one. Arabin, you tap the stick. Howdy, friend. Outsiders found. You see the massive form of Octavius Owlbear loom out of the darkness. Uh. A giant owlbear with a space helmet on. (laughs) Bears in space. (laughs) Oh, it's the outer world odyssey or whatever the fuck. Query bark one. Confused bark. Attack mode engaged. Oh! Oh, shit. The disguise did not fool Octavius. Let's roll initiative. Thank you for joining us here on Another Path. You can find our website and merch store at anotherpathpodcast.com, on Twitter at anotherpathpod, and our network at ghostlightmedia.net. You can support our efforts by donating at patreon.com slash ghostlightmedia or by giving us a rating and review over on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcatcher will let you. You can find me on Twitter at TQLoudly, Griffin at GriffCold, and Ryan at RyanRoll20. You can find Justin on TikTok at JustJustinMichael and myself at TQLoudly. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode. And until then, remember, what can't be read Sometimes shouldn't be. This has been a Ghostlight Media production.